Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to carry out a Tukey's HSD test after an ANOVA in Stata. In order to do so, our first step will be to identify a data set, which I'm saying is Census 13, a pre-built data set in Stata, that represents some of the demographic attributes of states, including birth rate, population, uh, region, and so forth. The ANOVA we're interested in today followed by the Tukey's HSD test, is the effect of region on birth rate. Our hypothesis being that birth rate will vary by region. In order to see if this effect exists, we will begin with an ANOVA, with the code being ANOVA, B rate, and region. We see that the model is significant, and we see that its R squared is, is, is fairly high there, so it does seem that there is an effect of region on birth rate. Obviously, what we do not have here is an indication of which regions are greater than which other regions in terms of birth rate. As you can imagine, that's very important information to have in doing this analysis, be it for marketing purposes, academic purposes. You need to know which regions are greater than which other regions, without which the ANOVA isn't, frankly, of too much use. So let me show you the code and the results here. I've highlighted the code. PW mean is the pairwise comparison, and M compare to key specifies that we're using Tukey's method and I will just let you look at this code again for a few seconds while we look down here at this table what is this table it's a comparison of mean birth rates f between regions and what we've done is we've isolated each region and compared it to the other regions and we see that every row has a contrast and a p-value what does that mean well let's start with 30.86 here in this first row here. It tells us that the birth rate in North Central, the states in the North Central region, are 30.86 higher in comparison to the Northeast. We also see that the South has a higher birth rate than the Northeast. And don't forget to look at the significance column over here to confirm that. And then the West is higher than the Northeast as well. We see that South versus North Central is not a significant difference here because of this value. Uh, West is greater than North Central and finally West is also greater than South. So those are really good things to be able to know about these data. They tell us not just that there's an effect of region on birth rate, more usefully we get to learn which region is higher than which other region in terms of birth rate. And let's follow that up with a graph here just to sh just to illustrate let's do a box plot and I'm using this code here I've added on this code here so that we can label any potential outliers by state and you'll see why that's useful here so we see that west is higher than the other regions we see that northeast is lower than the other regions we see that north central and south are pretty comparable here and we have identified our outlier which is Utah Anyway, I hope this tutorial was useful for you. ANOVAs get used a great deal, and they should be followed by some kind of test, such as Tukey's test, demonstrated here today, to identify these kinds of differences here, pairwise differences. Once you identify these differences, you can reach much more precise conclusions about your data set and your analysis. I encourage you to visit 272analytics.com for access to our free tutorials in not just Stata, but SPSS, in R, in eViews, in Minitab. We have many, many tutorials available. They're all free. And our purpose in making them available is to not just help you as, as students, as researchers, but also to demonstrate our expertise as consultants. We are data consultants primarily to students interested in assisting you with your methodology, your findings chapter, any kind of quantitative data support that is required for an academic assignment. We will provide coding, design, analysis, interpretation. It's ethical support. What that means is we show you the blueprint. We help to explain your data to you so that you can write your perfect chapter four so that you can defend your dissertation with confidence because you know exactly what story is being told by your data and what everything means. Anyway, thank you so much for listening and have a great day.